doing something different. <laughs> well, I wouldn't certainly say this is different because I have done videos while I was preoccupied doing other things before. But I have OCD now, and so I forget things very easily. So while everything that I want to say is fresh in my mind and my juices are flowing, I'm going to do this video now while I'm doing my hygiene. And y'all can uh, just sit here and watch me do my hygiene. <laughs> but it's something that I want to talk about. Y'all young folk really piss me the fuck off. And I just got to get this off my chest now. Um, it's something that y'all do that I don't like and I don't think is cool. And I want to tell y'all why y'all fucking dumb for doing it. Okay? Whenever I see it, whether it's on social media, whether it's, you know, between two individuals that I know in person, I've, I've seen this a lot. And that's young people taunting us older people for our age or about our age and I don't really understand how being over 30 when y'all throw that in our face like is that supposed to be a fucking insult or something like I don't really like y'all act like y'all had something that we didn't already have or y'all doing something that we didn't already experience like, getting older is a part of life. Like, everybody has to age. So, I don't really understand, like, how was that an insult? Like, don't you realize you have to get old, too? Matter of fact, motherfuckers, y'all better hope that y'all get our age. Because most of y'all motherfuckers and how reckless y'all living, y'all not getting to our age. You're not. Y'all not even getting past motherfucking 20, 21. We experienced our 20s. I see if y'all got to be young and we were born old with all these aches and pains and physical issues that we have. But we had our time in the sun. We did all the things that y'all doing now. And more. Y'all have to get old too. So I, I don't understand how was that an insult. It's not wrong with being old. Being old is a good thing because you're smarter, you're more wiser. You know, you got to, you know, see... Things uh, evolve and elevate and change for good or bad. But we had our time in the sun. <laughs> like, I don't really get why y'all feel like aging is a, is a bad thing. It's not. It's not. It's a blessing. Isn't it a blessing to live long? Don't y'all want to get to y'all 30s and 40s? Or y'all want to die at 20, 20, 22, uh, and 23, 24? Y'all want to die young? I don't. <sighs> so, yeah, I, I don't really understand when y'all be... Arguing with older people when y'all say shit like you old bitch, but you better hope that you get to their their motherfucking age. You better hope that you get to our age, okay? Because y'all ain't doing nothing that we haven't already done, and y'all gonna be old as us in ten years. Because the fact of the matter is, like you're old longer than you're young. You know what I'm saying? You're old longer than you're young. <laughs> Motherfuckers start calling you old. <laughs> like the average life expectancy is 76. I think women have a longer life expectancy than men. And I think it's different per uh, race. But I think the life expectancy for men is like, isn't it like 76 and for women it's like 82 or 3? I could be wrong, but that's close enough. So, you're considered old by most people's standards when you're in your 60s. You're considered old in your 50s. You're considered old even in your 40s. Most people consider people in their 40s old, even though it's really technically middle age, but they still consider it old. 
And if you're 35 and up, to most young people, you're considered old. They even consider 25 and up old. They consider you old when you're in your late 20s. I remember a lot of young motherfuckers calling me old when I was 25 and 26. I'm 35 now. I'm really technically 34, but I always say 35. I just round it off. But I'm 35 now, and <laughs> so I know I'm, I'm old to have for you motherfuckers. I've seen motherfuckers call me old on TikTok. You old motherfucker. You old ass nigga. And I'm like, motherfucker, you better hope you get here, bitch. You better you, you better hope you get to my motherfucking age, motherfucker. I've been, I've been young before, nigga. I've been young. I've been young. Okay? And I'm enjoying life more now than I did then because all I did was made a bunch of bonehead, dumb motherfucking mistakes, you dumb motherfuckers. Fuck y'all talking about. Make real. Trying to make me feel bad being being old. But yeah, you 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 old longer than you young. I don't even count childhood. I don't count. Even though that's the technical definition of young. But I don't really count that. Now, when you're in your teens, I don't count that either. I don't count that. You're not even an adult yet. Can you make decisions for yourself? Can't uh, drive or get your license? You can get your license, I think, at 16 now, but you can't drive. Can't drink alcohol. A lot of things you can't legally do until 21. So according to you motherfuckers, the only time that motherfuckers is really young is between 21 and 25. Because after that, y'all motherfuckers be saying you old. Y'all consider anything over 25 old, so. Yeah. Mm hmm. But, yeah, I just think it's crazy to look down on older people. Like, it, to me, that, that, that's, that's an accomplishment because, um, and it's a blessing because I assume. Most people who love life and enjoy life, they want to live to, um, you know, they want to get as old as possible. They want to live as long as possible. And you can't do that if <laughs> you don't want to get old or be old. You have to get old in order to live a long time. And like I said, you're old longer than you're young. You're only young for four years, according to you motherfuckers. Young for y'all is 21 through 25. Okay, let's say 30. Because I do hear some young people say that they don't feel 30 years old. Okay. So, nine years. You only get nine years of youth. You only consider young for nine years. <laughs> You're only young for nine years. That's it. So how? So y'all young motherfuckers most of them bragging about how y'all young. If you're only young for nine years, that ain't nothing. I was a young guy one time. And I remember a dude in his 30s telling me, motherfucker, you're going to be old soon. Because those years do not last long at all. They fly like this. My long time subscribers remember... Uh, the video I did when I turned 25 and I was crying, I said I didn't think that I was going to get to 25 and I was thanking God for reaching 25 because everything that I've been through, the odds were against me. I was not supposed to get to that age. Living in poverty, being mentally ill, going through all the things that I went through in Philly, experiencing all the things that I experienced. The abuse that I suffered. The dangerous, dangerous environment and violence that I was subjected to, I was not supposed to fucking make it. And mo most of my peers didn't, but I overcame. It is a blessing that I'm still here to even speak about my motherfucking experiences. It's the older people that you can learn something from. You can't learn nothing from some motherfucking dumb, young dummy. 
that's when you really get to appreciate life and understand because you realize and you, you learn from all the mistakes that you made when you were young. And so you're able to make better decisions. Decisions that won't hurt you. Decisions that you won't regret. And because of that, you have a more joyous life. You have a more peaceful life because you're more aware of what not to do and what to do. You better understand yourself. You better understand life and know how to navigate through life. You don't know nothing when you are in your 20s. Nothing. Nothing. So y'all better appreciate those eight motherfucking years, nine years, because <laughs> that ain't nothing, baby. By y'all definition, y'all motherfuckers gonna be old real quick. So enjoy it, because one day you have a motherfucker calling you old when you're in your thirties and forties. Like I said, you better hope you get there. Think about that, motherfucker, before you call somebody old. You better hope you get here. I don't understand you dumb motherfuckers. Like I said, y'all act like y'all, y'all, we didn't have a chance to be young. We were already young. We had our time. Y'all not doing nothing that we, we didn't already do. And we're not doing nothing that y'all not gonna have to do. Y'all gotta come down this same old motherfucking path that we we on now. Y'all gotta become old too. <laughs> so I, 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 it's just it's weird to me. I, I don't I don't really get it. It's weird. It's weird. Oh, it's, it's, it's just a, it's a weird thing to do to assault people for being old. Like it's like I, I don't I don't understand. Like is it an insult? Is this supposed to be a fucking insult? Man, old is is, is not an insult to me. It's a blessing. People that you taught and may live longer than you, but you may not even get to that age, and they may continue to keep living. So, yeah. Brush my teeth. I wash my face. <laughs> this is a little different. Um, but I just had to rant about this because it's something that I see a lot. And it's something that really irks my nerves. And something that I just don't understand, to be honest. I really don't. Just don't get it. Ugh. Woo. Leaning like that, see? I'm old, so. Woo. My neck, my back, my hips, and my crack. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, that time flies so. It fly by so quick. It goes so fast. Man, a decade ain't nothing. Y'all motherfuckers 23 and 24 down. In just 10 years, y'all gonna be 33 and 34. And motherfuckers gonna be calling y'all old. And y'all gonna be just like me on cameras on my high. Like, y'all better hope y'all get to my age. I had my time in the sun. You know. <laughs> y'all gonna be saying the same shit I'm saying. Trust me. The same fucking shit that I'm saying y'all gonna be saying. And it's true. It's It's true. You know, so um, I don't know if there's really anything else I want to say. I just wanted to rant and dig in y'all fucking ass for a few minutes while I was doing my hygiene. Um, but yeah, you no, know, um, I mean, there's some things that I wish I could have done differently. You know. <laughs> I made so many mistakes when I was young and I have so many regrets about the things that I did when I was young and many of the poor decisions that I made during my twenties. Um, I guess I, I'll say that they've left some really permanent, painful, permanent scars. Um, you know, I'm mentally ill and, you know, that's not something that you can control, but there's a lot of things that I brought on myself. 
a lot of poor decisions that I made that caused the anxiety that I have now. Like I did a lot of things to contribute to my poor mental health and to my anxiety and my OCD. It's a lot of bad decisions that I made that contributed to some of the things that I'm going through now mentally and emotionally. And it was because I was just naive and dumb. Naive, young, and dumb. And didn't know any better. Like some of these tattoos I got, I regret pretty much all of them. <laughs> I wish I could get rid of all this shit. I don't know what I was thinking. My grandma told me when I was 18. But that time go by so fucking fast, bro. So fuck, so motherfucking fast. It's scary. I sit here and think all the time about when I was 18, like 2005 and 2006 and 2007, like I think about the music that came out during that time. I think about the things that I was doing, the people who were in my life back during that era and just like everything, like certain things that happened in sports. I was watching on Venus versus Davenport. That's a, that's, those are tennis players. Um, Wimbledon, 2005. Uh, Wimbledon finals match and I was like god damn that was that was really fucking like 17 years ago are you serious like 2005 was 17 is that 17 yeah 17 years like what the fuck happened to the time like I say that to myself like what the fuck happened to the time I'm like that felt like yesterday and I had to pinch myself like man life really is short Cause just how those 17 years flew by and I was only 18. And I remember when I first started my J Love 47 account, this account. I'm still kicking. Most of the motherfuckers that was doing videos during my era are gone. I'm probably the one of the few channels like that kept its name and like content because I do have like my content is still available it's just um unlisted a lot of people think I deleted my shit I didn't delete those videos they're just unlisted um but yeah man like <sighs> time flew man it's just it's scary you know a lot of my peers and followers they be like yo Jay man we getting old you remember when you had that beef with Nola TV show and knowledge and Speaks the truth and uh, on point and on the grind. Like, I be looking back at some of those old videos and I'm just like, wow, like, that shit was really fucking, like, 11, 12 years ago. Like, Jayla 47 is really 12 years old. I remember what I was thinking when I uploaded those videos. I remember what I was doing. I remember what I was eating. Like... Like little weird things like that. It, it's just like, wow, that time really flew by so motherfucking fast, bro. I was in my grandma's room uploading those videos, man. 21, little thin little boy. 21, 22 years old. My little dreads. Now I'm 34. I'm not old, but... You know, I am just um, six years removed from 40. And God's willing, if I'm still around, I'll still be up on here doing videos. <laughs> Y'all really seen me grow on here. But he stood the test of time. I've been doing this for a long time, man. Yeah, man. Weird. It's, it's weird. You gotta pinch yourself the time. You really think about like 2009 was 13 years ago. You just gotta ask yourself, like, where the time go? How the fuck did it go so fucking fast? So, have fun, young people. Y'all can tease us all y'all want. I, I, like I said, I don't really get it. I, I mean, if anything, we're the ones that should be boasting and, and bragging and, 
you know, we experience our youth and our, uh, I wouldn't say old age, not for me, but, you know, we've experienced it all. Y'all only <laughs> in phase two of your lives, honestly. I, I don't really get what you know. Oh, you young and you're, you know, you. I guess you're, you're uh, more physically. What that don't even mean. Half of y'all motherfuckers are older than us nowadays. So y'all can't even boast about that. Uh, oh, I'm young, yeah, but y'all look ugly. Y'all, y'all old looking. Half y'all look older than us. Y'all nineties baby. Something wrong with y'all. Y'all motherfuckers be looking. I've seen a dude on TikTok get mad. They got this little thing where like you know you put this little uh, this app, this little filter or whatever, and it gives you an age or says how old you look based on your features and shit like that. And one dude, it he got forty five and he's claimed that he was only twenty eight. I'm like nigga, I'm thirty four. You look way older than me. You look what, what the fuck are y'all nineties babies eating? Y'all motherfuckers, y'all y'all supposed to brag about being young, but y'all look old. Y'all not even living to our age anymore. Like, y'all, half of y'all look old. There's no reason why as a 28-year-old man, you should be looking 45. You got 45-year-old niggas look better than you. That's crazy to me. But y'all boasting about age. It don't matter if you look old. <laughs> it, like, age is like Aaliyah said. It's just, just, a, just a number. It really is just a number. Because it's all about, you know, your health and, you know... Like how good your health is. Like you got a lot of young people losing teeth and having all types of health issues and physical issues. And I'm just like, it's the food y'all eat, it's the lifestyle y'all live. Y'all just so fucking reckless out here. By the time y'all get to 30, y'all ain't gonna even look as good as us. Y'all gonna look 50. I'm just like looking at some of these young folk and I'm just like, why the fuck they be looking so old, bruh? Like I don't understand. Why these nineties babies? They look fucking forty at twenty two, twenty three. You got like eighties babies. I think seventies babies aged better than eighty babies, and eighties babies definitely age better than nineties babies. I, I just don't get it, man. Y'all ninety, and I ain't talking about the early nineties. I'm talking about like the ninety three, ninety four. Y'all be looking old as shit, bro. That goes to show that age don't like sex appeal and attractiveness and all that shit really ain't got too much to do with age. Obviously, you lose a lot. You know, your skin is not as, um, as you call it, elastic or whatever. Like, you know, the older you get and stuff like that, you get your wrinkles. You know, you can't physically do things that you used to be able to do when you're older and stuff like that. Like, I get that. But some of you motherfuckers just be looking so fucking bad, man. Y'all be fucking 23 and looking 40, bro. Like, that, you know, that shit's terrible. But y'all brag about we young. Okay, well, pray that you get my age. And that we're not, you know, having a funeral for you at motherfucking uh, 26, 27. So most of y'all boasting and bragging ain't not going to even get there. Y'all not even getting, y'all not even getting the 20 nowadays. Pathetic. Pathetic. And, 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 and those of you who did get to 20, 23, 24, which is still young, y'all look 80. Like, like, stop it. Like, just, just stop. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thank y'all for, uh, you know, watching and, uh. I guess y'all the camera, I kind of see that as y'all. Y'all are the camera. So y'all were entertaining, not entertaining me, but keeping me company. <laughs> it's amazing how a camera can make you feel like you're talking to people, even though it's like not in real time. It's not live. But um, yeah, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm talking to someone, um, even though I'm just talking to the camera. But it keeps me company. All right, y'all. I'm ready to go. Find something to eat. I'm still on my weight loss journey, by the way. Um, what I want to say is that I haven't been eating the best, but I don't feel like I need to eat the best. You know what I mean? I think just eliminating sodas, sugars, carbs, fast food, fried food, eliminating those things alone should help me lose weight and help me get in better health. Um, I just been eating regular, but I have, I've been doing all water for the most part. I had like eliminating iced tea here and there, but mainly water, just water, 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 water. I actually got two packs downstairs I need to go pick up and bring upstairs. Um... But yeah, just mostly lean meats, vegetables, you know, rice, shit like that. I've been I've been doing pretty good. I've been doing eating. My eating habits have changed, and my diet has changed drastically. So I should see a drastic change in my weight. Definitely not eating nowhere near as bad. The bread, eat foods, and stuff like that. I don't eat none of that shit no more. So um, I've gotten much better, man. I'm doing a much better job. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. Peace. Ah.